Hey YouTube, uh, Rob back again, another video. Uh, well, it's been three weeks, so uh, time to draw my uh, Forest Sub uh, competition. Uh, it's been running for about three weeks or so. Um, so first of all, I've got to sort of say in the original video, I should say a big thanks to everyone that, you know, all the subscribers and uh, everyone that, you know, got me up to the 500 subs. Uh, you know, thanks for all the views and uh, all the great comments over the years and, uh, you know, I've got some, uh, you know, really cool people on here, so uh, I'm very, you know, grateful for that and thanks guys, big sort of thumbs up. Um, yeah, so I managed to get, uh, oh, I've got, I got five entries, but um, one was only a text uh, sort of comment left uh, response, so I, I, you know, it doesn't necessarily count. Um, I did sort of leave a comment saying that, you know, yeah, thanks for the answers and, uh, you know, if you want to sort of end the competition, you've got to, you know, actually do a video response, but I never heard back, so I don't know whether they, you know, annoyed at me because I didn't, <laughs> I didn't accept their entry, I don't know, but anyway, so I got four official entries, uh, people that, you know, uh, gave me four video responses, uh, which I guess is not a huge amount, but um, I guess I'll go for uh, quality over quantity any, any day. I did get some, get some uh, really great, the four were really good responses, I thought, and uh, yeah, good videos, I thought. Um, so I'll leave a link to all these people below. Uh, definitely all great YouTubers and uh, definitely deserve a, a sub, and uh, yeah, cool people. So um, the prize was... Uh, this Lego edition here, sort of special edition of the uh, Lego movie. Um, and I've asked, uh, asked two questions, but one of them was sort of an optional sort of riddle, sort of just a fun sort of question I threw in just sort of see what, you know, what's the responses I'd get uh, for that. Um, but anyway, so we'll get into it. Um, so I'm pretty sure these are in order of the of the way I got them, I uh, hope so. Um, so the first entry I got was from uh, Geek Legion of Doom, that was Leo, he's a, a really great YouTuber and a uh, big supporter of my channel and uh, definitely makes great videos I think and uh, definitely deserves more subs I think, definitely a, a cool, wicked guy. Um, so yeah, the question, well the main question was, you know, just to list your sort of your favourite movie of 2014 and the, you know, your, your least favourite or the worst movie you thought of. Uh, uh, 2014. Um, so the best movie he said was uh, Captain America The Winter Soldier, uh, which I can agree with. That's, that's actually on my uh, top 10 uh, list of 2014, uh, which I've still got to do. I'm not sure if I, perhaps I left it a bit too late to uh, do my top 10, but we'll see how we go. I might do it soon, hopefully, before it's uh, too late. Anyway, uh, yes, Captain America The Winter Soldier I thought was actually yeah, a really good movie. I did actually quite like that one. Uh, I wasn't sort of a huge fan of the first one. I thought that was bit average uh, but I did actually really like you know did like this one The Winter Soldier uh, sort of more of a sort of a sort of a spy movie I thought sort of a spy thriller in some ways perhaps more compared to your traditional uh, combat movie um, but yeah I thought it was actually really good, good I sort of like the you know the story to it a few twists and turns and uh, good characters and uh, just yeah a really good screenplay I thought so that's definitely a good movie that's definitely on my top 10 uh, the worst movie, he sort of listed a few, uh, both the Hercules movies, uh, which I haven't, haven't sort of seen, but um, I have heard they're not really <laughs> all that great. Um, I guess I have, I have sort of seen the, they did like a, a reboot of the Conan movies uh, a few years back, and I'm pretty sure it would probably be similar to that. That wasn't necessarily a crap movie, I didn't think, so I'm, that's, you know, I guess in some ways that might be sort of similar to that. Um, you also mentioned... A couple of uh, Cameron Diaz movies, uh, Sex Tape and uh, The Other Woman, um, which I haven't sort of seen. Um, I haven't sort of seen many of Cameron Diaz movies the last few ones. I've, it's not really a genre that I'm sort of into, the sort of the you know, sort of cheesy sort of <laughs> American comedies. They're not really my thing. Um, the last movie I saw her in was um, Bad Teacher, which I thought was, yeah, not that, not that great. Mm. Yeah, so I don't think I'll be watching that once. But uh, anyway, so that's, uh, yeah, so those were sort of the responses uh, from Leo. Get Legion of Doom. Thanks, Leo. Good luck in the condition. Um, second issue I got was uh, from a YouTuber called uh, Courage My Boy, which I think uh, he's a really good YouTuber too. I think he's only, I think he's been on YouTube for a few years, but I think he's only recently, or restarted sort of making videos again. And uh, he definitely makes really good videos and 
Uh, definitely needs more subs. I think he's only got a few subs and uh, not getting many views, but uh, I think he's definitely a, uh, a good one to check out. So that's definitely a shout out to him because he definitely needs more subs. Uh, he did like a few videos on uh, through, uh, Christopher Nolan movies. He did like the Batman series and uh, a few other movies by Christopher Nolan and he's done a few Nintendo updates, Amiibos and uh, Nintendo 3DS games. He did an update on that and uh, yeah, just yeah, good stuff. So check him out. Um, uh, his favourite movie was uh, the Australian horror movie The Bubble Duck, which I did think was a really good movie. I did actually quite enjoy that, and uh, again on my top ten uh, of last year. Uh, that was yeah, really good, really sort of. I actually went to the cinema and watched that one, and uh, yeah, definitely a really intense, um, yeah, sort of well acted and uh, yeah, just good, good sort of movie. Especially yeah, great one to watch in the cinema. I thought too. Um, so yeah, I love that one. Uh, the worst film he said was uh, The Amazing Spider-Man Two. Uh, which I haven't sort of seen that one. I have sort of, sort of heard uh, mixed things about it. Um, I've I've seen the first one, which I thought was rather average. I thought really. Um, I mean, even the you know the Tom Guy ones, I thought weren't really all that great. Even though a lot of people do seem to like those ones, I'm, I don't know. They're not, perhaps I don't know. Not my thing, maybe I don't know. But I'm pretty sure I probably will still buy you know the Amazing Spider-Man two at some point. Um, you know, it's a bit of completed sort of. You know, I've got the first one. So, um, anyway, so that's, um, yeah, that's Courage, My Boy. Good luck the competition. Uh, the third intro I got was from uh, Blu-ray Ben. Uh, another really great YouTuber. Definitely check him out. Give him a sub. Um, his uh, sort of favourite film uh, was the film Noah, uh, which I haven't sort of seen, but I have sort of heard <laughs> sort of mixed things about. Um, bit of a, yeah, people sort of said it was... Some people, I think some people actually did quite like it, but a lot of people uh, didn't, like, didn't like it that much, I didn't think. Um, I think it's sort of, I think it's one of those films where if you sort of, you need to sort of forget that it's uh, based on true story, a uh, true uh, Bible story, and um, if you sort of forget that, I think it's actually, you know, not a bad movie, I don't think. Oh, well, so I've been told. Um, uh, his worst one was uh, Godzilla, which I, I did sort of pick that one up actually in my last update, and uh, it did sort of, yeah, give my thoughts on it, and uh, I reckon it was, well, it was alright, but it, yeah, I think it could have been uh, a lot better, and I think it's definitely a film that was uh, really sort of hyped up too, I think, it was definitely sort of, you know, you know, trailers coming out for it, and people were really getting really pumped for it, and really wanted to see it, and, you know, it was sort of, the end result was a bit, a bit of a letdown, I think, for uh, most people. Um, yeah, so that's the entry from Bureau Ben, good luck with the competition. Um, and the final one was from my good friend uh, Kevin, Dr. Hasline, another really great YouTuber and uh, definitely makes great videos, I think. Um, his uh, sort of favourite film was not really a surprise, it was <laughs> uh, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes because he's a big yeah, Planet of the Apes fan, so uh, that wasn't a surprise. Uh, that was another great film and another film that's definitely on my top 10, uh, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Um, yeah, it's a really good, yeah, I actually quite liked that one, good, good sort of story to it and uh, good sort of uh, CG, um, uh, cinematography to it and sort of CGI and uh, you know sweet, really sort of uh, realistic sort of apes you know sort of thing and the worst one he said was uh, Tusk which I have sort of heard you know uh, mixed things about uh, I think some people did I think a few people did sort of like it but I think mostly um, it was yeah it wasn't very well received I don't think um, it's kind of a film that I think I have sort of, now that I've sort of heard mixed things about it, I'm, I don't know, I'm, almost, I'm a little bit curious perhaps to uh, actually sort of go and watch it and sort of see, if, you know, how bad it is, you know, sort of thing. <laughs> but anyway, um, uh, yeah, so that's the entry from Kevin. So, um, yeah, so thanks guys for the competition. I uh, really do appreciate that. Um, yeah, so I think we'll cut now and we'll, I might just go to random.org, uh, put the four names in and hit random and uh, yeah, we'll see who the winner is. Oh uh, yeah, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I've put uh, the four names in. Uh, Geek Legion of Doom, Courage My Boy, Blue Ray Ben and Dr. Hasselheim. Yep, so we'll get down to randomize and yeah, we'll see who the winner is. Good luck guys. And the winner is uh, Geek Legion of Doom, Leo. So congrats mate. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for your entry, uh, and, well thanks for everyone that did the end of the competition, 
Uh, if you just want to send me a, just a PM uh, with your address in it, yeah, I'll get that sent to you. So, yeah, congrats, mate. And, yeah. Well, there you go. There's uh, my competition. Uh, congratulations to uh, Leo, Geek Legion of Doom. Uh, yep, yeah, just send me a PM and I'll, um, yeah, I'll get that sent to you. Uh, yeah, so on to the next part. Basically, the, the, I did ask you a, a second question uh, in my competition. And so, actually, the question was, or well, the riddle was, uh, if I was uh, describing, say, a movie or maybe specifically more perhaps a, a character, uh, and I said that character was uh, orcs with wings, uh, what would I mean? Um, and I had a few people did, you know, try to answer that, and um, I think they even tried to Google the answer, which is a bit cheating, but anyway, I'm glad no one could find it on Google, because uh, you probably won't find it on Google. Um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll sort of explain it. It's probably a bit of a, a long-winded story. Um, essentially, uh, a few years ago, he's uh, Uncle Rob telling you a story. Uh, a few years ago, I did actually do a sort of a creative writing class. Uh, the, the teacher was uh, you know, telling us about you know, teaching us on creative writing. and um, he, he told us, I'm not sure if it was, whether it was a true story or not, but he was telling this story about uh, his friend, which is also, because they were sort of both writers and uh, his friend uh, sort of said to him, well, I've got, I've got this really great idea, orcs with wings. And my, my teacher sort of said, well, yeah, and? And the guy said, yeah, but it's orcs with wings. That's so cool. That's so cool. Um, so basically what it means is it basically means, you know, orcs with wings is a really cool, you know, cool thing. And, you know, orcs with wings, that's, you know, that's, that's, that's exciting. But yet it's... You know, there's no real point to it. You, when you're writing a story, you need to sort of your character needs to if you have if they have wings, then they've got to use the wings. You know, in the story, you need to you can't just sort of give characters these cool things and not really you know necessarily use them or um, you know because there's you know what's the purpose of giving them wings? So that's so that's basically what it means. Like so, orcs with wings essentially means uh, you know that's it's a cool thing, but. There's no real point to it, you know. What, you know, what's 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 the point having giving orcs with wings, you know? So that's that's basically what it means. I just I just thought that was a uh, quite an off story. I thought and uh, a good way to uh, sort of teach us, I suppose, just to um, when you're writing a story, you've got to sort of plan it out and you know don't just add things in the stuff for the sake of it. Everything's got to be explained. There's got to be a reason, uh, you know, why you would give orcs with wings. So that's so that's the answer. A bit long-winded, but. Um, yeah, so I think uh, Blue Red Ben, I think he was probably the closest one to that. He did sort of, you know, sort of dance around that uh, that answer and I uh, was pretty sort of close to it. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, again, thanks to all the, you know, the four subs out there that have given me, you know, all the views and all the great comments over the years. You know, I do appreciate it. And uh, thanks to all the support I've been given. Uh, thumbs up, guys. Uh, yeah, so that's it. That's my video. Um, yeah, I'm sure I'll be back very soon with another video for you. Uh, but for now, bye.